What's my name? What's my name? Uma, say it louder. What's my name? What's my name? Feel the power. Guys, back on the scale today, we have Descendants number four, The Rise of Red. If my titled channel wasn't the name of this movie, I would be slightly disgusted. However, I have never been more distraught with the Disney film than I was watching Descendants, The Rise of Red. The plot follows not our former Descendant characters, but a new line of heroes. Here in this particular movie, we focus on Cinderella, played by Brandy from the 1997 edition of Roger and Hammerstein's Cinderella. And it was rewarding and refreshing to see Brandy back into the role of the character, although she didn't get to do much. And of course, King Charming was also there for the ride. Uh, the original actor who was uh, played him in the 1997 edition. The villain in this particular movie is the Queen of Hearts. You may recognize her from the tiny rabbit hole in Alice in Wonderland. And so that is the premise of Descendants number four. The two daughters, the daughter of Cinderella and the daughter of the Queen of Hearts, are trying to figure out their futures and their paths in connection with their legacy. And so as a result of them trying to figure out what they're going to be, conveniently, they end up landing in Auradon Prep together. Now, of course, the original characters don't appear, which was also quite distasteful, but we saw that coming a mile away. And so there is mention of these characters in the movie they let us know that mal and evie and ben have gone out into the vast world to be able to handle political business and whatnot there is homage paid to carlos uh, in connection with the loss of cameron boyce uh, there's a brief moment in which they give homage to him in this film and i personally will tell you that that was just the highlight of the movie Cringy dialogue, poor acting. I found that both daughters, the daughter of the Queen of Hearts and the daughter of Cinderella, they have little act the ticks. They have these ticks that they do uh, during their performance, and it just distracts from the production drastically. Uh, Cinderella's daughter has the tendency to put her tongue in the side of her mouth, and then the Queen of Hearts' daughter has this tendency to move her head every time she's talking as if she's in the middle of a, a 2000s rap video. The characters, the plot, they had potential to be something amazing. But what we see here is low screen time from Brandy played by Cinderella. I mean, that's monumental. You're bringing a character back from 97 in this 2024 production and her screen time is if combined, I would say she's on the screen for about three and a half minutes the entire film. There are plot holes all over the place. Um, a lot of the storyline doesn't make sense, and so it's hard to hold one's attention. Storyline follows these two girls traveling through time to be able to change a terrible thing that has made the Queen of Hearts a villain. And... I am all for time travel, guys. I love a time travel film, but the way this was done, it was lazy, 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 lazy. Okay, there there was a beginning of this movie. There was something in between, but I cannot speak to what happens at the end of this film. And then now, not to spoil things, let's just say that this movie leaves a lot to be desired. Descendants, The Rise of Red uh, is a film that was made just because. I call that a just because production. Aside from its failure to keep our attention, failure to train good actors and actresses, or to use good actors and actresses, and failure to hold or maintain the integrity of the original three Descendant films, it was something very displeasing to see. 
I know that the film wasn't directed by Kenny Ortega. That was evident from the first moment I clicked play. The opening number uh, was very scripted and robotic. A lot of the dance moves are kind of hip hop modern. You know, they're kind of, they're reaching for something that Disney doesn't stand for. And that's what makes this movie particularly difficult uh, to be able to accept. Let's talk about Uliana, the villain. She is the little sister of Ursula. And what I find to be interesting about her character is she is very, very annoying. I, I didn't see much reason for them to have her character in the film. She has one song in connection with revenge. And I'm like, wow, somebody should really get revenge on her for singing this song. Yeah. And so that's what the movie really deals with. Uh, the girls go back in time to try to stop something from happening to the Queen of Hearts. And they meet their parents in their young age. The cliche things happen. They get to learn a little bit about their parents' background and whatever. And then the movie ends. Right? Right. Or, or the movie doesn't end as it were. So, guys, that was Descendants, The Rise of Red. Let me know in that comment box what you think. Let me know how this movie made you feel. What was your favorite Descendants movie? Let me know, guys. Let's chop it up. Let's go big on this one. And we'll catch you on the next Cinema Scale review. Peace out.